It's just a little bit of the shampoo that they give you. Don't you ever wonder what happens to the rest? My mom puts it in her purse and takes it home. <laughs> that's what <laughs> well, happens that's, to the rest. That's one way of recycling. <laughs> well, our next guests are here today with a global hygiene revolution to distribute sanitized and recycled used soap to children and families in countries with high death rates from disease. It's a great effort. And Sean Seipler and Laura Schwartz are here with the Clean the World Foundation. They've, uh, we've met Laura before. She's been on the show. She was the Yay. White House director for events for the Clinton administration. And you brought along your friend today. I did. I did. You know, all over the world, I'm speaking. And I always ask, what, what do you have that's philanthropic that I can donate some proceeds of the book to? And all of a sudden, I was at this meeting event about three years ago. And they said, well, we don't have, you know, a scholarship program. But we have a guy talking about soap. And that's when I met Sean. <laughs> talking about soap. And I said, I love soap. And then Sean <laughs> opened my eyes that maybe I shouldn't always steal the soap if the programs with Clean the World at the hotel. And I learned so much. I mean, Sean, how many kids are actually affected because they don't have soap in this world? Yeah, every day, 6,000 children across the globe are dying to pneumonia mm -hmm. and diarrheal disease. It's two of the top killers of children worldwide. Child dies every 15 seconds to these two diseases. Mm -hmm. Yet if we give them soap and proper hygiene and education, we can cut those deaths in half. And of course, out of our hotel industry, what do we have coming out every single day? A lot of soap coming out of those mm -hmm. hotel rooms. Mm -hmm. And there just seems like there's so much waste with that. And yes. I think people who are visiting a hotel don't want to be wasteful. Right. That's why they sometimes bring <laughs> it home. It might only be there for exactly. one day. But you might be there for one day and you can't mm -hmm. use it all up. And, you know, it, I'm sure it goes in the trash, especially if it's partially used. Yeah, that's actually where Sean got the idea. We throw away a million bars of soap every single day in the United States out of our hotels. So Clean the World works with those hotels to get that soap, prevent it from hitting landfills. We recycle it and we send it to children and families locally across the United States and all around the world who in some places are literally dying because they don't have access mm -hmm. to proper hygiene. And this was just in 2009. Started five years ago in a mm -hmm. garage in Central Florida. As we sit today, this week we were able to announce that we've sent 20 million bars of soap wow. to children and families mm -hmm. across the United States and in more than 96 countries across the globe. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah, you know, food stamps, we're an all time high of Americans on assistance. Food stamps do not cover soap. Mm -hmm. So last year alone, I think it was a 1 million hygiene kits that were distributed right here in the United States, the food pantries, in fact, right here in Milwaukee yesterday. Yesterday, we gave 3,000 hygiene kits to the Open Door Cafe here in Milwaukee. We were at the Grand Geneva Resort. Uh, we built with HB Cares, wonderful 3,000 kits. And so here locally in Milwaukee, we're helping those who so desperately need proper mm -hmm. hygiene. So you're working directly with some hotels locally. I is there ways that other hotels can get on board or that people like us or those at home watching can say, hey, you know, I've got this whole stack of them at home or I travel a lot. Yes. How can people get involved? That yeah, we have 25 hotels here in Wisconsin that run our program. So That's great. those hotels are responsible for 55,000 pounds of waste not hitting landfills. Right here in Milwaukee. Right That's here not hitting your landfill. That's landfill. awesome. And 170,000 bars of soap that have been distributed to those in need around the world. Mm -hmm. We work with 2,500 hotels. If you go to cleantheworld.org, you can mm -hmm. find out how to sign up to our program. And we operate hotels across North America and Asia. So they can just sign on. Yep. That's awesome. And I know you keep mentioning bars of soap, um, but as it relates to like the shampoo, the body mm -hmm. wash, the conditioner, mm -hmm. how, how are those recycled? Yeah, so those that have enough product in them, we repurpose them and put them into the hygiene kits that go into the domestic homeless shelters relief organizations. If they don't have enough product in it, we recycle it and keep it out of land. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's great. It what really about like toothpaste? I see mm -hmm. toothbrush. Do um, those things razors? work? Razors. Yeah. So our hygiene kit program, we put a brand new toothbrush, okay. toothpaste, disposable razor, washcloth. Because again, we have 42 million Americans on food stamps. They can't buy mm -hmm. any of those items with food stamps. We need we need to give them the proper hygiene as well that yeah. they need. And Clean the World created 55 new jobs, mm -hmm. and many of the kits are actually assembled by volunteers. There are about 8,000 volunteers that have done over 25,000 volunteer hours. You can, if you're running a conference or an event or even a small meeting in your company of 30 people. You can call Clean the World. They send you all these individual mm -hmm. items. You set it up on a table. You have a diagram. It's a team building experiment. Also, whatever you create, whether it's downtown Milwaukee or in Kenosha Racing, doesn't matter. You then choose if you want to go to a domestic women's shelter, a mm -hmm. food pantry, whatever it may be. So it's a great way to pay it forward and keep it here in Wisconsin in a yeah. whole new way. Mm -hmm. I think that's great. So the, the different places that are recipients of these mm -hmm. efforts can be local. They can Absolutely. be across the globe. Mm -hmm. They can be someone in, uh, who is a neighbor. So right. you know, do you get to designate then who it goes to. 
Exactly, with the one project. That's right. The groups who build the kits okay. designate where it mm -hmm. goes to. So if there's a local shelter, a women's shelter relief organization that you're supporting, build these kits and then hand this in because this is some of the most basic items that they need on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And then around the world, we work with Children's International and World Vision, uh, you know, Feeding America to get these to where they're most needed. And that's the ones that are taken directly from the hotels mostly, correct? Yep. Yeah, but all of the stuff is taken from the hotels. The bottled amenities are sanitized. And then the soap, you want to show this soap, comes off of a line. Yeah, so this is a brand new three ounce bar of soap. So we actually take the soap from hotels, we sterilize it, surface clean it, we grind it, and then we remanufacture it into a brand new three wow. ounce bar of yep. soap. So this is of the 20 million bars that we've sent, this is what they would look like. So they're getting handed out to, to mothers in you know, Haiti and Zimbabwe and Mongolia and places where they really need this soap and, and, and education. And it's pretty neat because education's a big part of it. Yeah. And so this is a postcard that goes in this kit. On one side it shows you how to wash. On the back end, it's an area for you to write a note. Well, hey, I saw the letter writing campaign going. Exactly. just a second ago. And that goes into every every hygiene kit gets a positive note for the person that's receiving it. That's and it cute. makes it makes a big difference and it saves lives. I was yeah. both I was thinking they both could join us again for like a hairstyling segment. <laughs> I know, right? I asked both of them. I'd like to get their tips. It was great to have you guys support Thank them. You Include both. hair gel next time and then we'll do a demo on it. That works. Yeah, that works. Yeah, they have a lot of gel in Wisconsin. That's why I always like coming home. <laughs> You're headed to your old high school. And by the way, I graduated from Shoreland Lutheran High School uh, in between Aww. Kenosha and Racine, so I'm heading there now. So I'll give a shout out to my Pacer Peeps. That's great. Awesome. <laughs> Pacer <laughs> Peeps. Cleantheworld.org is the website to visit for more on this great campaign and all the wonderful things they can do and how you can help. Thanks, both. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thanks. And I love soap, you. too. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, it is no secret.